Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forex, pisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody, let's take a look again on the Bitcoin market. So, we don't have real significant changes. This market mostly is calling in the same range around the previous top. It was uh, in the beginning of the week, but currently uh, two possible scenarios uh, exist on the market. So, in general, uh, in a longer term perspective, and maybe perspective of a few weeks, we suggest that still some response on the market on the major target should happen. So as you can see on this monthly chart, we already talked about it. This market has hit major COP target on the uh, monthly chart. Now also we have kind of the gutless chip to sell, as you can see on the picture on the monthly end. Uh, what is also important that market is some stands near the overbought condition on the uh, monthly chart as well. So all these factors su suggest that the uh, chances and the odds on the possible pullback are not uh, very low, so this probably could happen. And this is, in general, normal technical behavior when the market responds on some targets, even if this is minor extension, 618 extension, but it stands on the monthly chart, and even minor pullback, minor reaction on this target should happen. And, and on the daily, maybe it will be not as minor as on, mon as on monthly. So, for example, it could retest the previous uh, top around 1380, 1360, as we suggested, in our update on Monday. Uh, currently, we do not see yet the starting of the pullback, and in fact, today we discussed the scenarios how this could happen. Uh, in general, we have two uh, possible scenarios, and the uh, market could start downward action either immediately, or it could try to climb slightly higher, trying to hit the next nearest ending target round 1630, uh, and then, after it will be hit, it could start to reaction. So, as you understand, on the monthly chart, 1550, uh, it's not some precise, strict number. This is mostly an area. And the area around this could be relatively wide, at least uh, envelop this target for the 500 or maybe even greater uh, dollars p coin. So, that's let market to fluctuate around, and uh, it doesn't mean that reaction hasn't happened. It still could happen, but uh, we need to adjust our view to the monthly chart because it suggests longer term, it suggests wider fluctuations, and uh, this market doesn't, hasn't shown any reaction on Monday. It doesn't mean that the reaction will not get any reaction at all on this uh, target. It's still possible. On the uh, weekly chart, here's we discuss the next potential targets around 2168. And so we have uh, the same ABCD pattern, but another important moment for a shorter term perspective is that uh, take a look, as we already talked about this, the hash rate starts, to, starts dropping. And this is in general supports the idea of the possible pullback, possible retracement. Every time when this was capitulation of the miners, the hash rate shows the pullback, some retracement, some relief. Every time market shows either sideways consolidation or technical pullback, technical drop here, here as well. Here is also some starting pullback. Here was minor sideways action. And now, as you can see, now the capitulation of the uh, miners uh, is hash rate stats on record high level. So it also suggests that some relief should happen. Finally, we're going to the daily chart. On the daily, we consider as possible one of the possible patterns how the pullback could start is the double repo sell pattern. And currently, it's forming pretty nice. So we have the first stop. Here was this my, this candle was closed below the 3 by 3 So you can see moving average stands at 15, uh, 15, 34 and 7. And low stands 15, 30, uh, 15 uh, right here. It's so better to say 15,315. So uh, this was closed below the 3 by 3 and it means that we have the first close by the double repo. Next, new top close above the 3 by 3 And the one thing that we need is to reversal some capitulation of the bulls and drop 
with the calls below three by three, that will be confirmed double repo sale patients that suggest deep retracement. At the same time, as we mentioned earlier, we are not considering levels below 1360 because they, all of these levels stand below the daily result. In the nearest perspective, uh, hardly possible that market will move below it, and that's why the most uh, probable destination of the retracement, at least at the first stage, it will be 30% support. Besides, as we said on the monthly chart, take a look, it coincides with the previous top and agrees with the broken 618 level. That's why we're considering it as the primary object for a possible retracement, at least in the beginning of the pullback. Now about the alternative scenario. If we will not get the double repo, we could get something of that sort. Actually, it, it doesn't cancel the double repo. It just tells you that the double repo could start from a bit uh, different shape and, and from different levels. So market could climb slightly higher. But one thing that uh, tells us that's probably uh, downward action could start immediately because we have minor, as you can see, plenty of Russian rings here. You can see market spiked the previous top. Maybe some stops have been triggered here above this and then return it back down. So appearing of the Russian rings around the previous top and always bearish sign. Uh, it means that market just grab some stops uh, and uh, wash out uh, the, the previous top and then it's ready for downward continuation. At least it makes chances on immediate upward continuation to the 1440 target uh, more significant, uh, less significant, so less probable upward action with the butterfly. How potentially it's possible to trade this uh, situation? So if you would like to buy, it would be better to place stop buy order around Washington Rings top or slightly above it. So if market will break it, hardly it will be second Washington Rings. It probably will be direct upward continuation and you will buy on the breakout of this level. Other scenarios here looks, well, not as attractive. For taking the short position, well, uh, it's also some uh, chance exists. So you could try to sell uh, if you'd like to foresee the double repo, although it's not really a good idea, but in general, uh, you could try to sell with the stops just above the watch range top, because if breakout will, will happen, it, it will mean that market will not turn down immediately and will climb slightly higher. From that standpoint, it will be reasonable stop loss. Or wait for patterns, either completion of the butterfly, it's moving to the 14, 4, uh, 1640, or wait for a collapse. In this case, uh, double repo sell will be confirmed and you could try to take the position on double repo. Anticipation of the double repo uh, looks more risky, but it has advantage because you could place very tight stop. And if you will get lucky and it's, uh, indeed double repo will be formed and market will collapse, you will get the position at the perfect point. So risk is greater, but the entry point is very good as well. So Lots of options exist how to trade in both directions. So think, decide how you will deal with the current situation on the Bitcoin market. But in general, as I said, uh, the fact that the hash rate is dropping and market stands at the major target and the, near the monthly upper body area makes me think the chances of the moderate retracement currently are is significant. So it's, this is not a good moment for taking a position for a longer term perspective. So it would be better just to wait and see what will happen on the Bitcoin market.